Welcome to Ascending DC channel. We are an AWS certified partner to provide cloud consulting and technical support to clients who are looking for cloud solutions to tackle the challenge in their day-to-day -day operations. This video is one of the many short videos we are producing. In each of them, we are going to demo and explain when used for AWS practice that can be used to improve the efficiency and accuracy of your work. All these tricks have been proved effective in our client's success. If you are a project manager, DevOps, architect, software engineer, or just looking for useful cloud practice, this video is made for you. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Hello, my name is Rio from Ascending. Today, I and BS will talk. Will be going over Terraform and how it can help your team manage and scale infrastructure like EKS. BS. Hi, I'm Biaz. I'm a DevOps engineer at Ascending, and I've worked with multiple clients over the years with their infrastructure needs. So let's start with Terraform and why do we need it? What are the alternatives and how do developers manage their infrastructure before such tools? In my experience, the biggest pain points of managing infrastructure manually can be reduced to these bullet points. Infrastructure drift, where the actual infrastructure running is different than what is described in the document. No way to plan and share with teammates before actual deployment. Production infrastructure are complex with many dependencies and can be hard to track manually. Having to track, having to repeat some process multiple times for every environment with mixed results, humans can make mistakes and sometimes this can lead to inconsistencies between environments leading to unexpected results. No quick way to roll back if an issue is detected. To tackle the above issues, what was developed is known as IAC, Infrastructure as Code, where we write down in text what we want to deploy and a tool accomplishes that for us. And Terraform is one of the many popular tools to implement IAC. CloudFormation is another tool that is hugely popular with our team here at Ascending as well, so that, we will all, that will be our main point of comparison. The next thing we'll talk about is Terraform. Terraform, much like AWS CloudFormation, is a tool to describe infrastructure as code. It's an open source tool that is vendor agnostic. It uses provider as a way to describe cloud vendors like AWS, Azure, GCP, and even on-premise. Terraform code is written in a custom language called Terraform language, unlike more mainstream options like JSON or YAML. The state of the infrastructure is maintained in a file that can be saved in S3. Unlike CloudFormation state, needs to be maintained explicitly by developers. Terraform has robust module support and can be shared using Terraform registry. Terraform keywords. Terraform in it, this initializes the Terraform project and installs all the modules and provides present in the project. Terraform apply, deploys any changes in the infrastructure and Terraform destroy, destroys any changes in the infrastructure. So here we see a sample uh, example to de deploy VPC and submit and a server instance. Let's go through the code a little bit. As you can see first, we need to describe a provider block. A block is defined by the curly braces. A provider, as we have talked earlier, is our backend where we want to deploy our infrastructure. In our example, the backend is AWS. Once we have defined our provider, we need to write down the blocks that form our infrastructure. These blocks are known as resources. An example for describing a VPC, we have two naming convention. One that tells Terraform which resource to use, which is defined by AWS underscore VPC. And the other one is the name that we give it to the block so that it can be referenced later when needed as part of other resources. So we give, give it a name, example underscore VPC. Now we'll go over a real life example where we deploy a managed Kubernetes cluster in AWS. Let's briefly understand why you would want to use a managed service like EKS. Kubernetes cluster consists of two parts, control plane and worker nodes. Control plane is where scheduling of application to worker nodes, managing the health of applications, scaling worker nodes as required happens. Managing it on premise can be a big headache because it can become a bottleneck that prevents your infrastructure from scaling quickly. 
Control plane needs to be kept updated, scaled, and managed, which is why it helps to use a service like EKS, which does all of this for you. Now let's go through some Terraform code. We have three important files. One, where we define the VPC, another where we define the security groups, and another, the last important one, where we define the EKS cluster. We use Terraform in it to download all the necessary modules and packages and, do, and then we do Terraform apply to deploy the resources. So as you can see, this is the cluster, uh, the EKS, and it's given some random number. We have two compute groups and they are still creating. As you can see, after creating, we will have some EC2 instance. In this one group, we will have two, and this one node group will have one. After testing, we'll use Terraform Destroy to delete the resources. So now it's all deleting all of them, the ones that were created. And now we can go back to the slide. The sending is an AWS Advanced Tier Certified Partner. We have a team of engineers to work with you and create a solution that solves your unique problem. Managing and scaling infrastructure can be a lot for a team that needs to focus on developing applications. Ascending can help take that problem away from you so that your team can focus on what's important. Hope this video helps you understand why Terraform is such a fantastic tool for infrastructure as code. Stay tuned for more. Please leave your comments, questions, critics to us so we know you are watching. Again, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, Ascending DC, and stay tuned for our next video. See you next week.